वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट इन एट स्टैंडर्ड वी हैव लर्न द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आइटम वी हैव सीन एट द सेंटर ऑफ एन आइटम देर इज न्यूक्लियस एंड दिस न्यूक्लियस इज सराउंडेड बाय डिफरेंट शेल वन टू थ्री फोर द फेस्ट शेल इज नेम एज के द सेकेंड इज एल द थर्ड एम एंड द फोर्थ इज एन एज shown in the diagram my dear student we have also studied the electronic configuration which was given in 8th standard according to neil bohr but my dear student when you go to 10th standard you are going to study a chapter which is called as classification of element and in this chapter you have to study a different electronic configuration in which you have to tell the elements belonging to s block d block p block and f block so my dear student one topic is there in standard 10 where there is a need for us to study a different electronic configuration and this configuration is taught in 11th standard but the knowledge of this configuration which is given in 11th standard the topic is introduced in 10th standard and my dear student you all know that we are preparing for carbon we have seen one electronic configuration of carbon according to niels bohr today we are also going to study more about structure of atom and a new electronic configuration which is useful for us to study classification of element in standard 10 this topic is not taught in the lower classes as this topic is in the 11th class but the information regarding this new electronic configuration is useful in 10th standard now my dear student we have studied that there are different shells surrounding the nucleus now each shell is having a sub shell and this information is given in 11th standard which we are going to study now so my dear student the first shell which is k shell has a sub shell which is called as s now my dear student the second shell is l shell it also have a sub shell which is s and p my dear student the third shell also has the sub shell with the third shell is m and it is also divided into sub shell s p s p and d my dear student the fourth shell also is having the sub shell and this sub shell is s p d and f my dear student in 8th standard we have seen that the nucleus of an atom is surrounded by only shell and we name them as k l m n but in 11th standard we will study that each shell is further divided into sub shell the first 
shell is divided into subshell S. The second shell is divided into subshell SP. And the third shell is divided into three subshell S, P, D. And the fourth shell is divided into S, P, D, F. Now, my dear student, here the number of shells has increased. Each shell has subshell. And in electronic configuration, we are going to arrange the electrons in the increasing order of its energy level. So, my dear student, today we are going to study electronic configuration by above principle. What is this above principle? Let's find out. My dear student, above principle is given in 11th standard. But the information of above principle is very very useful in 10th standard for the classification of element. My dear student, we are studying carbon. We have already studied the electronic configuration of carbon according to Niels Bohr. Today we are going to study the classification of carbon along with different elements because it is useful to us in 10th standard in chapter classification of element. Above principle is not belong to anyone. Means it is not named under the name of any scientist. About means building up. It gives us only a pattern in which the electrons can be included in the item of an element. So, above is not a name of a scientist, it just gives us the pattern in which the electrons has to be arranged in an item in an increasing order of its energy level. So, according to this principle, there is a different pattern and this definite pattern we are going to study. My dear student, when you go to 11th standard, you will study that every shell is divided into subshell. Let's have the revision what we have already discussed. The first shell is having one subshell and it is S. The second subshell will have the second cell will have two subshell that is S and P. The third shell will have three subshell that is S, P, D. And the fourth shell will have four subshell that is S, P, D, F. So, my dear student, if you correctly observe, one thing you will come to know that is. First shell will have one subshell, second shell will have two subshell, third shell will have three subshell, and fourth shell will have four subshell. Now, my dear student, here again we are going to study the electron capacity of each and every cell which we have discussed now. My dear student, 
द कैपेसिटी ऑफ एस एल इज ऑफ टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स द कैपेसिटी ऑफ पी सेल इज ऑफ सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन द कैपेसिटी ऑफ डी शेल इज ऑफ टेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड द कैपेसिटी ऑफ एफ शेल इज ऑफ फोर्टी माई डियर स्टूडेंट इट इज वेरी वेरी नेसेसरी फॉर अस टू नो द इलेक्ट्रॉन कैपेसिटी ऑफ ऑल दिस फोर शेल एस पी डी एफ एस शेल हैज द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कैपेसिटी ऑफ टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स पी सब शेल कैन होल्ड सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स डी सब शेल कैन होल्ड टेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड एफ सब शेल कैन होल्ड फोर्टीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इफ यू केयरफुली ऑब्जर्व माई डियर स्टूडेंट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द इलेक्ट्रॉन कैपेसिटी ऑफ एस पी डी एफ इज ऑफ फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू प्लस फोर सिक्स सिक्स प्लस फोर टेन एंड टेन प्लस फोर फोर्टीन ना माई डियर स्टूडेंट दिस इज द बेसिक नॉलेज इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन इलेवंथ स्टैंडर्ड बट दिस नॉलेज इज वेरी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर अस इन टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड अप टू टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड दिस इज नॉट टॉट टू यू इन टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड यू विल लर्न क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट इन विच यू हैव टू टेल एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट डी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट एंड एफ ब्लॉक एलिमेंट सो देर फोर वी हैव गोइंग टू स्टडी इट नाउ सो दैट आवर बेसिक नॉलेज इज स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड वी कैन हैव ब्रेन स्टॉमिंग ओवर द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इजीली माई डियर स्टूडेंट नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू अबाउट प्रिंसिपल अ पैटर्न इज देयर अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस पैटर्न we have to arrange the electrons let's study this pattern my dear student observe how i have written this this is the pattern which is according to a bowles principle and it does not belong to any scientist it is just a pattern in which electrons are arranged in an atom of an element in the sink increasing order of its energy level so first we have to put the electrons in 1 s2 after filling the electron in 1 s2 then we have to fill in 2 s2 after completion of the electron in 2s2 then we have to fill the 2p6 3s2 in this way after that my dear student you have to fill Three P six four S two, and after that, again you have to fill three D ten. So my dear student, up to here will stop because there is a need for us. to study the electronic configuration only up to atomic number 30 and this much electron the classification is necessary so from this we can say that 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d10 this 1s2 2s2 
2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d10 are the subshell in the increasing order so my dear student this is the basic information and now we are going to write the electronic configuration according to above principle from 1 to atomic number 30 and have brainstorming upon above principle